Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Superintendent Chavez Rogers of the Royal St. Christopher and the Nevis Police Force. Today, I am here at the studio of St. Kitts Nevis Information Service to give an update of the traffic management plan that will be taking place um, tomorrow during the inauguration of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party that should be or would be held at Saturday, 13th August 2022. And of course, it's a big event, and we, the police, have to put certain measures, especially as it relates to traffic, in place. So I'm here to give the public an outline of what restrictions are in place so that um, we could have a smooth transition of what should happen tomorrow. And um, tomorrow, the event starts at 1600 hours, which is 4 p.m., your understanding time, and persons should be seated by 3 p.m. And I'm asking all persons to show up early and um, ensure that parking is adhered to and that you can have a small transition. And I'll read from my um, document here for road closure. You would have Lozak Road would be closed to the general public, East Park Range and the street north of NHC between East Park Range and Vic East Park Range and Wellington Road. Parking restrictions, there will be no parking permitted on the following streets. Eastern side of Victoria Road, between the Carnival City Gate and Lozak Road. Park Range, that's the western side between Bastia High and Lozak Road. Lozak Road, between Park Range and the police station, or what we call Hart Street. So there will be a parking restriction there. Then you will have the flow of traffic. The flow of traffic will be one way around the entire stadium. So let's say we're on Victoria Road, you'll be only allowed to travel going to the north, like heading from Amory Bakery, going north. Eastwards along the north of NHC, that piece of road north of NHC, you're only allowed to travel going eastward that heading towards Wellington Road and southward along Park Range. So you will be only allowed to travel from Park Range down, from Taylor's Range, sorry, down to Park Range. Parking for patrons or invited guests, especially invited guests, um, supporters of the party and otherwise will be um, for the VIP or VVIP your parking will be inside of the stadium under party stand, which is the eastern section. You travel down to Park Range, you enter that big gate on your right at the east of the stadium, and you immediately take a left onto the party mound that we know for cricket. And the VVIP will be parked on the eastern side of the cricket stadium that's just in front of the manual cricket scoreboard. The other VIPs will be allowed to park on the party mound and that will be controlled by protocol persons and police officers to ensure that the parking is done properly. There would also be parking for government officials within their um, Warner Park itself, that is the Carnival City. So your, your, your entrance will be on Victoria Road and that main gate when you enter to enter Carnival City, and then you'll be allocated parking just next to the tennis court, and the others will be parked in the Carnival City. There will also be limited parking at the Marathon Gate. That is the big gate just as soon as you left Lozak Road. On your right, that's what called the Marathon Gate. There will be limited parking there, but persons who uh, would access all of these parking will be given pa car passes. So um, you're able to give the, those car passes or show those car passes to the police or the protocol persons and they would allow you in and give you um, direction as to where exactly you can park. Um, I think that's it when it comes to the traffic restrictions and I'm um, pleading to um, the persons who are attending the event to attend early, adhere to the traffic um, guidelines, the restrictions that are in place and these restrictions will be put in place from midnight tonight, Friday. That's tonight. The restrictions will be put in place in order to accommodate the smooth transition of the event tomorrow. 
and I thank you.